Hello everyone, welcome to Infigam. In this video, we are going to find out the root of one complex number 1 plus i root 3. Square root of complex number 1 plus i root 3. So what I am going to do here, I will put that number equal to z and z is equal to a plus ib. This is how we will proceed. We will consider that square root equal to z and z is equal to a plus ib where a and b are real numbers. So let's start. Take a square both sides. By taking a square, let me write a plus ib whole square is equal to under the root 1 plus i root 3 whole square. So if you will take a square of that, then a plus b whole square, a square plus i square b square plus twice a b i. Square root and whole square, it will get cancelled out. So what is left? 1 plus i root 3. Now we know that because i is equal to square root of negative 1. That is why i square will be negative 1. So it will become a square minus b square plus i times or iota times twice a b equal to 1 plus i or iota root 3. Now, because of both sides, we are having complex numbers. So, we will equate the real and imaginary parts. This is real part of left hand side complex number. And see, this is right hand side real and imaginary part. So, what we will do? We will equate both sides. So, after equating a square minus b square is equal to 1 from both sides, we are getting real parts and twice a b equal to square root 3 that is imaginary part. Now, I am not going to solve by algebraic method. I am going to calculate the value of b from equation second one, imaginary equation. So, from this equation, what value of b I can write, divide both sides by 2a. So, b will be square root 3 over 2a. This value I am going to put in the real parts equation means this equation. So, let's put equation is a square minus b square is equal to, let me write equal to 1. Now, put b equal to root 3 over 2a. So, a square minus b square will be root 3 over 2a whole square equal to 1. So, a square minus 3 over 4a square equal to 1. Multiply both sides by 4a square. So, equation will be 4a power 4 minus 3 equal to 4a square. Take all the terms to the left hand side. So, 4a power 4 minus 4a square minus 3 is equal to 0. So, this is our quadratic in a square. This is quadratic equation or quadratic to quadratic equation degree 4. So, we will consider directly we can apply a is 4, b is negative 4 and c is minus 3. So, a square will come out. Okay. So, I am not calculating that part. a square you will be getting or you can want that factors actually. Then factors you can write 2a square minus 3. 2a square plus 1 equal to 0. Or you can apply that quadratic formula also. From both results will be same. So, a square will be 2 values. 3 over 2, you can see. If I will equate this equal to 0, 
then a square will be 2a square is equal to 3, a square will be 3 over 2 from first bracket and from second bracket a square will be negative 1 over 2. Two values we will get. Okay. So one value is 3 over 2 and second value is as you can see minus half. Now a square is negative number that means it is complex complex solution or imaginary solution. So we will reject this. So reject it. This a equal to minus half will be rejected. So what is accepted solution that is a square is equal to 3 over 2. So a will be equal to plus minus square root 3 over square root 2 multiply numerator denominator by root 2 then it will be let me multiply and show you root 2 times root 2 so it is plus minus root 6 over 2 you can write plus minus root 3 over root 2 also so let now let us find out the value of b so b was what was our consideration that was root 3 over 2a. So let's put put the value of see it is 2a is equal to plus minus root 6. So let me put root 3 over let me write 2 times a is root 6 over 2. That will be again plus minus. So 2, 2 term will get cancelled out. Root 3 over root 6 I will write root 3 times root 2 plus minus. And root 3 will get cancelled out. 1 over root 2. Multiply numerator denominator by 2. So it will be root 2 over 2. So b will be coming out or the value of b will be plus minus root 2 over 2. So our answer is straight away clear a plus ib. The root was a plus ib. So answer is a value is plus minus root 6. So let me write there plus minus root 6 over 2 plus and because of b is also having plus minus sign so i will write plus minus iota times root 2 over 2 this is our square root value okay so if you want to bifurcate it then you can write two answers two values root 6 over 2 plus iota times root 2 over 2 or minus root 6 over 2 minus iota times root 2 over 2. These are basically your answers. Answer 1 and answer 2. Alright. Now let us solve this question by second method. Second method is choosing complex number de Movi's theorem. Complex number we already solved c a plus i b is complex number now i am applying de movies theorem that will make four line problem it it will be so how it is let me write that i will take two common from this square root so two if i will take common then i will write one over two plus it is i times root three over Now this square root is, let me take that root t outside and the remaining I will consider 1 over 2 plus i root 3 over 2 whole power is half. You are convinced? See power is 1 over 2. So if I will take then it will be root 2 outside. Now root 2. See this is cos if you see the angle is 60 degree. 
so i am writing inside the bracket i am writing cos pi over 3 plus iota times sin pi over 3 and c power is half now i will apply i will write this cos theta cis theta or cos theta plus i sin theta i will write e raised to the power i theta so it is e raised to the power i pi over 3 whole power is half root 2 is there now it is only one solution only one value so if we generalize this so because of cos and sin both are having periodic with period 2 pi so we will add its multiple so i will write i pi over 3 2n pi whole power 1 over 2 equal to root 2 e raised to the power i pi over 6 plus that now the movie is theorem that half will come inside so in the phase in the theta part so it will divide both the terms pi over 3 it will divide so it will become pi over 6 2 n pi if you will divide with 2 then it will give you n pi now what we have to do only only put the value of n equal to 0 n equal to 1 your solution will be there let me put n equal to 0 this is 6 let me put n equal to 0 okay so z will be equal to root 2 e raised to the power i pi over 6 so root 2 now put there cos pi over 6 plus i sin pi over 6 cos pi over 6 is root 3 over 2 so let me write root 3 over 2 plus i pi over 6 is half if you open this bracket then it will come out same result root 6 over 2 plus iota times root 2 over 2 you can match your answer with the previous method also now second n equal to 1 z is equal to root 2 e raised to the power i pi over 6 plus pi that means root 2 e raised to the power i pi over 6 plus pi that means 7 pi over 6 it is in third quadrant both cos and sin will be negative so our answer will be root 2 minus root 3 over 2 and minus iota half if you will open it then it will be root 6 over 2 with negative sign minus root 2 over 2 with iota and both answers are matching i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching if you like then please do subscribe and share thank you